Hey, welcome to Pusher TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to install our heavy duty cold side charge tube assembly for the 6 7 Power Stroke equipped Super Duty trucks like the one behind me. The overall design has been pretty much the same since their inception in 2011. It's currently early 2022 now. And so I have everything here laid out in front of me. If you're interested in learning more about why it's designed the way it is and what you get from us, we do have an overview video you can go watch that covers that. I'm just going to show you the install process. I've already gone ahead and I've gone through all the parts I have here. I've gone through my checklist that's on the first page of our instructions, make sure I have everything I need prior to starting the installation process. Another quick note on the instructions, they're your real go-to uh, source for information for doing this. They're gonna have all your torque specs, little details, things like that. The video that I'm gonna show you doing this in is more of your like overview that's gonna show you stuff that's really hard to represent in print form. So knowing that, let's get the hood popped and get started. So with the hood open, you can see your hot, which we're not working on, and cold side charge tubes. So to remove your cold side charge tube on all model years, you have a C-clip here that secures the tube to the throttle valve. We're just gonna remove that out of the groove. You wanna unplug your intake air temperature sensor here on your newer model truck, 17 and up. They're clipped in as well in the harness. So you wanna pull it out with a body clip puller. On your 11 to 16 trucks, this sensor is a little bit further down the tube over here, but same procedure. And then the clamp that secures this tube to the intercooler, you can see down there, we're gonna loosen that. Once that's all off, we'll be able to just pull that tube right out. So now with the cold side charge tube out, we can pretty much start assembly. The only thing we have left to do is to take the intake air temp sensor out, which you basically just twist these things about a sixth of a turn or so, or a quarter of a turn to the left, and they pull right out. And then we're gonna insert it right in the hole for the sensor on our tube. And so, like I mentioned in our overview video, we have a little bracket here. It has a notch there, it's gonna line up with that tab. You slide that over. Your bolt in. You can do this in the truck if you want. I just prefer to handle any small hardware that I can outside of the truck. That way if you fumble and fall, it falls down, you don't have to try to find it anywhere. All right, now we can set up our, oh, a quick note here. I've used a bubble wrap that our parts come in as a cushion on the bench. That way you're not scratching up the powder coat you paid for. You have a nice soft surface to work on the part with. So next up, we can slide our O-ring in our throttle valve adapter. It just goes in the groove on the inside. Pretty simple deal. And then next up, I'm gonna install our reducer coupler on the throttle valve adapter. Silicone spray is your friend. This stuff is great. It lubricates everything, allows you to adjust everything once you have it in the truck, all your couplers and stuff like that. It does not impact the you know, holding potential of these couplers. Um, but it needs to be silicone, not WD-40, not PB Blaster, silicone brace stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit in there. Swipe it around on the big side. And then we're just gonna align that big side with the beaded side of the uh, adapter here. We have the slots here for the C-clip. We're gonna put it on from that in there. Just gonna push that guy all the way on. And then your clamps here on your 17 and up models the intercooler outlet is slightly smaller, so you're gonna have a smaller clamp for that, two medium clamps for your tube connections, and one big clamp for this throttle valve connection at the intake manifold. On your 11 to 16 trucks, you'll basically have three medium-sized clamps. We'll get that guy on there. We'll snug it. I love these quarter inch impacts are awesome for this type of work. I'll just give that guy a little snug right there, nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate my 90 degree coupler. Again, on these 17 and newer trucks, this side here of the coupler goes on the intercooler. It's slightly smaller than the tube side and a tad bit shorter as well. So up here by our intake air temp sensor is where the throttle valve adapter is gonna go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and slide this clamp on in the same orientation this clamp is in. That way it just looks nice and clean once it's all together. Let's push that guy on. Now this guy here is gonna come up out of the intercooler. I prefer the clamp on the tube to be facing back towards the back of the truck. It's a little more, uh, a little more space back there to get a wrench and stuff. So I'm gonna put it on that orientation. Then the big side of the coupler here. And then last, the small clamp, I'm actually gonna slide on the intercooler uh, outlet. So I got this thing pretty much loosely assembled. Now I'm ready to set it down on the truck and get everything finally aligned. So a little tip I have for you guys that don't have skinny arms like me is to get this hot side charge tube out of your way. It's a lot easier if this section isn't right here so you can uh, get your arm down and orient the T-bolt clamps down lower on that 90 degree coupler. It only takes about five minutes. You just gotta zip off this hose clamp here. And then the C-clip here at the compressor side, you just gotta to stick one screwdriver underneath there, and expand it, and then the other one down here. That gets that out of there. Then I prefer to pull the coupler off the intercooler inlet first. And that guy just comes right out. So I'm gonna set my intercooler clamp in place first. I like to have it in this orientation when it drops over the intercooler outlet. That allows this uh, T-bolt clamp to be on the back side and pointing up once I finally adjust it. That way I can get all the way from the top with an extension down there and it's by far the easiest way to access it. I'm gonna set that in place now. Then I like to take my kind of loosely assembled part here and hold it right over where it's gonna end up. And so the intercooler outlet basically points directly to the side 90 degrees to the line of travel of the vehicle. And then the throttle valve is kind of at a forward angle towards the headlight. So I'll align my throttle valve adapter right above it. And I'll look at my angle of this coupler here. On this one, it's kind of pointing back. So I need to just rotate it a little bit. This really isn't a big deal, but it's just nice to do it when it's right here in front of you, set it down in where it goes. So I think that looks pretty good. I have this clamp also set up to where it's pointing straight back. I think that's the easiest place to access it. You can reach down from where the hot side tube was that I removed previously and tighten it from that area. So I'm just gonna push these hoses back. My primary goal is gonna be to get the intercooler coupler set up and that kind of clamp threaded over it. And then I'll come back up to the throttle valve side and get it lined up. So that's close enough on the bottom side. Now I have my throttle valve to get into place. Check one thing down here. Now I'm just gonna push this guy down to where everything lines up with our throttle valve. And then you just slide this whole throttle valve assembly on. This truck's only got 8,500 miles on it, so it actually still has the grease on the throttle valve that the factory used for the, the O-ring to slide on. If you have an older truck, you might want to throw a little silicone spray on that as well. And then I'm just going to slide that all the way on. And you can look down through the slots in the throttle valve and see that it's aligned with the slots in the uh, throttle valve itself. You can also pre, you know, slide in your C-clamp too, and once you hear it click, then you know it's in. But I kind of like to have the assurance when I install it myself, make sure it snaps in instead of relying on sound. The nice thing is you can spin this thing around before you put the clamps on and make sure everything's seated in there in place. So that guy's in now. I can just align. I like to have the logo facing up. It looks cool. I can just go through and I'll tighten all my clamps. Also, don't forget to plug in 
your intake air temp sensor. And then lastly, we're just gonna obviously reinstall our hot side charge tube in the basically exact same uh, process we took it out, but reversed. So since we're right here, I just wanna take this opportunity to show you like how important the routing of our cold side charge tube is. I talk about this in our overview video of this product. There's a lot of uh, versions out there that just come up from the intercooler and try to do it in one bend. And so if you did that, you can basically envision that it's either gonna be rubbing here on your power steering fluid reservoir or over here on your upper radiator hose. Having that kind of helical shape ours does, you know, it routes around everything nice. You have lots of clearance around there. Doesn't rub on anything, doesn't create, you know, any other issues. Also, if you want, you can pull this little clip out of here, just undo the tape and take it off. It's not needed anymore. It looks kind of funky just hanging there. So that pretty much wraps up the install for this. Um, I highly recommend, if you haven't got one, hot side charge tube as well. We offer a kit. It's available separate. I took the stock one off just to make more room for myself anyway. Um, and so there's some information on that and, and how ours is a lot better than factory. On our site, speaking of our site, we have a lot of information on there. We continually try to update it and add answers, FAQs, and things like that. So if you have further questions or concerns, check out the site and see if you can find it there. If not, choose to call, give us an email, and thanks for watching.